Well, it's good to see everybody. Thanks for uh, getting together. Just wanted to spend a few minutes, obviously, talking about our announcement from this morning. You know, I, I think it's important that uh, that everybody understand. I, I spend many waking hours thinking about what I, as the athletic director, can do to help our football program become successful. And I spend a lot of time with our team. Uh, I watch a lot of practices. I study every game, you know, the film uh, after the after the games are over. I spend time with our staff. I see the work that they're doing to develop our players. I see the plans they're putting in place around the program. I, I have an insider's look uh, at what's happening in Illinois football, and I have had that look now for the last three years. And uh, today's announcement, I think, is really a culmination of that assessment. I recognize that we're not satisfied uh, in any way with how many uh, victories we've been able to post over the last three years. Uh, but I also see the progress that we've made. I've had the opportunity to study and, and look at this team and see the way that we have grown as a program, the steps that we put in place. And I recognize what the situation was when we arrived three years ago. I, I do think that stability is incredibly important when you find the right leadership. Uh, and, and I believe in Lovey Smith. I, I believe in the, in the head football coach. I believe in the people he's put around him. And I recognize that we are entering into, uh, I think, a hugely important offseason. Uh, I think that we have identified a group of, of staff members who are key to our future success. I think we've identified a core group of players who are coming back who are key to our future success. In addition, I think we need to go out and, and attract some new faces to that coaching staff, and we need to be able to go out and, re and recruit a few key pieces on the roster, whether it's from high school players, transfers, fifth-year players. And I think that this message is important for them to hear, and that we believe in what we're doing, that we have the stability that's necessary here uh, to bring long-term success to Illinois football. And so as, as we evaluated different uh, strategies heading into this offseason, this is the one that we believe puts us in the strongest position going forward to ultimately bring that success to Illinois football. Uh, and so that's why we, uh, we, we made the move that we did today and uh, would be happy to, uh, to answer any questions. Well, I, I think, you know, look, it's, it's about the whole team. It's about you can, you can sit there and, and look at each phase of the game, whether it's offense, defense, special teams. I think recruiting is another important element to that. And ultimately, we want to see how – uh, how those things come together to, to result in, in wins. And uh, again, I, I'm not going to sit here and say that we've had as much on-field success as any of us would like over the last three years. Uh, but I do think that we're moving the right direction, and, and I see progress. I know that we were just a couple plays away, uh, both against South Florida and yesterday, uh, from, from pulling off, I think, two significant wins for the program uh, and, and ultimately being bowl eligible. And uh, and, you know, we're going to continue to move the, the, that needle forward. Uh, I think we made tremendous growth on the offensive side of the football, please, with Rod Smith and his arrival, the identity that he's brought to our offensive football team. I think that we, we put out a, a, a good group on the special team side, and obviously we didn't do the things that we wanted to do defensively uh, throughout different parts of the season. But even yesterday, I, I think you look at, uh, at the game, and, and again, we uh, – uh, gave up some rushing yards, but the, but the team stepped up when they needed to and was opportunistic and, and uh, put us in a position to win the game down the stretch. And uh, I, I think there's there's opportunity there to, to continue on something that uh, ultimately will allow us to be successful. Josh, uh, on, regarding yesterday, did you already have your mind made up pretty much what you wanted to do, or did the events of yesterday kind of solidify that last night? Clearly, we, we'd already put together a strategy. We knew the direction that, that we wanted to go. I, I think that the results from yesterday only helped strengthen that, that decision and, and uh, further, in my own mind, uh, cement th that, that, that call and, and to move forward in this way. I, I think it's, there's a couple things at play there. Anytime you get a coach, especially in, in football, men's basketball, where they have less than four years left on their contract, uh, you start to, to leave them open to some uh, criticism or vulnerability in terms of recruiting, certainly. Uh, and, and so we thought that uh, 
you know, after this third year was important to send that, to send that signal. Um, and then uh, also I, I think that, um, you know, it's, it's uh, an important time as we head into this, this recruiting cycle. The, the, the December recruiting period will open on December 19th. We've got three intense weeks here of, uh, of recruiting in front of us. Uh, we all understand that the uh, negative implications that a particular narrative could have on those efforts. If we allow that story to continue unchecked, that a coach is in trouble, that, that Illinois doesn't have stability, uh, I think that damages our ability to go out and, and recruit high-level players to recruit high-level coaches. And uh, we, we're into a, a phase of our year now where those are some of our most important tasks. And so uh, coming out strongly today, uh, we think, uh, was the right move to, to be sure that those people who are making those decisions here over the coming weeks recognize that there's an administration here, there's a university here that believes in what's happening with Illinois football and, uh, and is anxious to have them uh, come on board with us. Yeah, we're still working through some of those terms. We'll, we'll bring those to the board for their, their vote at their January meeting. Um, but I, I do think this, this won't be a new contract. It's, it's largely the same contract. We're not tearing up what we have. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll add some years to the end. We're still working on what some of those, those terms might look like. Uh, I don't anticipate any significant salary increase as part of the extension. Um, but, uh, but again, we'll work through some of those in the weeks ahead. I, I, again, I, I think it's it's all those things that I talked about. I have a chance to be on the practice field. I have a chance to be around the team in the meetings to see the, the work that our staff is doing with our current student athletes, to see the work that they're doing on the recruiting trail, uh, to, to witness for myself the way that they handle different situations, whether it's uh, off the field uh, circumstances, different adversity that, that, that students might encounter. Uh, and so you, you get you get a lot of contact points with with a football staff over a period of years. I interact with them truly on a daily basis, and uh, and so you, you have all kinds of opportunities to uh, to form those opinions and, and and to use to to ultimately justify these judgments. Um, but again, I, I think all those things in summary uh, to me gave me great confidence in in the way that we're headed, and uh, and and thought it was important to uh, to send coach into this off season with. Uh, with strong support so that he can go out and continue to make the program better. Well, I, again, I, I, all I can do is continue to repeat the things that I've already said. I, I think that we've got strong leadership, uh, I believe, in Coach Smith and, and the work that he's doing. I uh, have great appreciation for the assistant coaches he's put around him. I think that on the offensive side of the football, especially, we took a tremendous step forward this year. I don't think there's any reason that we can't take a similar step on the defensive side of the football over this upcoming offseason. Um, you know, we've got a team that is 80% freshmen and sophomores, and uh, we had a defense this year that had one senior that, that played significant minutes and started for us. Uh, and so there's, there's a lot of reasons that eventually we have to go from being a young football team to being a mature, experienced football team. And, and this decision puts us in the strongest position to allow that maturity to happen, to allow us to retain the, the core group of guys who've gone out over these last two years and gotten great experience on the field. Um, and you know, we look forward to, to helping them continue along that path. Uh, again, I, I'm not going to sit here and, and say that we're we're pleased with the results of every game that we that we had this year. We're not, uh, and if Coach were sitting here, he would say the same thing. Uh, but we do think that um, there are a lot of uh, of good things happening. We we went through significant injuries this year. I think that's one of the untold stories of the season. Uh, we had starters and significant players miss many many minutes, entire games. Uh, we were reshuffling the deck on the defensive side in particular almost every game. You look at the defensive backfield. We're playing different people in different positions week to week, um, and so you know I think that we're uh, we're in a position to to take a strong step forward defensively. I think a year ago, people would have said, "Well, what are you going to do with the offense?" And and we were able to really take a, a strong step there. And there's no reason that we can't do something similar on the defensive side as we uh, as we head into 2019. Yeah. Versus just, as you came today and said, um, I want to shut down that narrative that 
Yeah, again, I think it's the old saying, actions speak louder than words. And uh, we, we had a number of different ways we could have approached this today. Uh, we thought the extension was the most meaningful. Uh, again, as people are making decisions about where they want to spend their future, we, we wanted to demonstrate firmly and strongly that, that this is a direction that, that we believe in. Uh, this is a person that we believe in. This is a program that is on the rise. And uh, you know, grateful to our university for supporting that, that effort, that decision. Uh, and looking forward to, to meeting with the team tomorrow morning. Uh, as they're in their postseason wrap up, and, and I assume most of them will hear the news today. But talking with them tomorrow myself about our reasons for the decision, our belief in the work that they're doing, uh, I think it's not just a validation of Lovey Smith, it's a validation of Illinois football. And, and there's a recognition that there are hundreds of people involved in making Illinois football what it is, uh, whether you're talking about assistant coaches, support staff, student athletes, certainly. Uh, all of them are working tirelessly every day. And uh, if we can let them know from my chair, we believe in what you're doing, to me that, that's a strong message. And, and I want them to hear that message. I want them to feel our support uh, because they've got a lot of more important work for them to do in the upcoming off season. And uh, it's hard. I know from my own experience to go out on the field and not get the results that you want when you put so much time and energy into preparing for those 12 opportunities it can be discouraging. And so if, as the athletic director, I can provide them with some pat on the back, some reassurance that you're doing the right things, you're, you're, you're making progress, we're behind you, uh, maybe that can provide a little wind in their sails, a little pep in their step as they head into this off season. Uh, whether you're talking about our players, whether you're talking about our coaches, our support staff, uh, everybody wants to know uh, that, they're, that they're believed in. Everybody wants to know that they're valued and that they're going to have an opportunity to get this right. And uh, I think sometimes it's easy to forget, you know, look, we're, we're three years into this with two recruiting classes. And, uh, you know, that, that is not nearly enough time for a program to take the steps forward coming from where we were. You know, we, I think it's easy to forget uh, what the situation was that, that, we, uh, that we put Coach Smith in when we started here in 2016. And, uh, and so we're, he needs the, the runway that's necessary in order to, to move forward and, uh, and really soldier us out of, uh, out of the place where we, where we were. Incredibly impressed with, with Rod Smith. I, I think that um, you know, he, he's a great fit for this university. He brings a strong identity to the offensive side of the football, uh, has similar values, understands our institution, uh, has come in and I think provided tremendous leadership, not just for our student athletes, but for our staff uh, on the offensive side. And uh, looking forward to working with him to be sure that he continues to be in the orange and blue uh, for, for many years ahead. He's, he's done a great job. We have, yeah, preliminary conversations. We'll get uh, a little more in, in depth in those discussions now that the season's over, but uh, certainly recognize that he's a significant piece um, for our overall success and, and want to do everything we can to, to ensure that he stays here and feels valued. Uh, and so we'll, uh, we'll engage in him or engage with him on those conversations and look forward to, uh, to some announcements about that at some point in the future. Sure. Yeah, we, we've had those conversations, at least started those conversations. I think it was a little premature to, to talk too much about them as we were still finishing up the season. But uh, I'll be engaged in the same way that I am on, on every significant hire that we make. Uh, you know, I, I think there's a, there's a certain role that the athletic director should play on staff hires. Uh, I think that generally I'm, I'm more of a, of a gatekeeper. I'm someone who uh, is asked to make sure that we're representing the university and, and our values in the right way. Uh, but assuming we can check those boxes, uh, I'm not often going to stand in the way when it comes to a particular person. I'll share my opinion, and, and Coach Smith and I have a great relationship. I think he, he trusts my view on, on football and a lot of things that, that are happening within that building. Uh, but ultimately, that'll be his, his decision. Uh, so I'll be involved, but, uh, but it, it'll be Coach Smith's call at the end of the day what direction he wants to go.